Hello everyone, today I'm going to review the first game of the finals of the Korean Meijin title match. Shin Jin Seo against Byun Sang Il. Just a day ago, they advanced to the finals of the LG Cup. They are in top condition. Do you remember the Korean Meijin title match? is the tournament where Shin Jin Seo lost against a young boy, Park Ji Hyun. But Shin Jin Seo came back from the consolation match. He defeated Park Ji Hyun for this time and he defeated Park Jong Hwan and he managed to get back here. Actually, this is their 40th game. They played 39 games before. But um, Shin Jin Seo is leading by 32 to 7. The gap is so huge, right? So I think even their skills are similar. Um, Byun Sang Il must overcome his psychological difficulties. All right, let's get started. Byun Sang Il is black. Shin Jin Seo is white. They started with the same position. After this approach, Shin Jin Seo invaded upper right corner and Byun Sang Il extended and pincered with toothpaste. Now the fight has started. Have you ever seen this shape before? Personally, I'm very familiar with this shape. Mm, I think it was around five years ago when um, just right after I became a pro. At the time, this shape was very popular. I always played this um, double star point as a white, and if my opponent chose this way, I chose this way. And I played this double approach, and yeah, this is, at the time it was very popular. And when I played this tiger's mouse, at the time, in the early days, my opponent, they were almost professional players, right? But um, they played this Atari, but actually this Atari is not that urgent. Because this group is now safe. And even if black plays this Atari, black cannot attack this group severely because the center is open. But um, at that time, many players didn't know that um, this is not urgent. Looks like this is urgent, right? Why can push and then after this, why can come back? Then we can say white is active. White gained a slight lead. So for black, this is better than this Atari. So if black jumps, then white can cut or white can just push and then after this, so I can play like this. Yeah, so anyway, um, I mean, I had a lot of experience of this shape, so I just wanted to uh, tell you. This is very similar, right? So uh, you might be thinking, why not black plays here, then this is not urgent. As I said, uh, this group is not in danger. And even if black plays here, black cannot attack this group severely because the center is open. So that's why the actual game, Byun Sang Il chose this way. With this move, Byun Sang Il could have played this jump. This is also possible. Then um, at this moment, I discovered a very interesting variation. This is our first intuition, right? But pushing behind is not good always. And if the sequence goes like this, um, this is good for black because black gained this territory and still black is attacking with this side, you know? So for white, this cut is better. Black cannot capture this one stone because after this, after this, white can cut and white can capture these two stones. Let me show you one more time. Why black cannot capture this one stone. Y can extend if black blocks, then Y can Atari, and then this is center. Otherwise, Y can capture these two stones, right? 
So if black answers, then white can play Hane one more time. And then this is white's split village. And then now that black has weakness outside, white is okay. White can capture these two stones. So that's why black cannot play this Atari. This is the right move for black. Then white can descend. Now is the right timing for black to play this Atari. Then surprisingly, white will not save the right group. White can just sacrifice this part. Then actually, even if black covers this group, later white can make this call. So for black, this is the right move. Black should clean up this shape. Then, then we can see that white got a success to sacrifice these four stones. White can play from the outside. So I wanted to show you that in this case, for white, it is better to cut here and sacrifice the right part. Yeah, this is beautiful. I showed this variation. This is another option for black, but the actual game, Byeonsang Il chose this way. If white jumps here, then black can exchange this and black can keep chasing this group. This is not that great for white. So that's why white played this Hane. Why this Hane is so good? Because if black answers the right side, then now white has this tiger's mouth. This is so beautiful. This is more efficient, right? What if black goes here, then white can make this tiger's mouth, then white can say A and B are me I. If black answers, then this is also very good shape. So that's why for black, this is the only answer. This is the actual game. White blocked here. I think this is an important moment. Byeonsang Il chose this way, but it was not good. Byeonsang Il could have connected here. If black goes here, white should answer like this, then black can play away. This one soon is not that big. Black can play away. Then even if white goes here, black doesn't need to answer because this shape is strong enough. But the actual game, Byeon Sang played this Atari and Shin Jin Seok cut this way and extended, but it was very big um, point wise. At this part, um, Shin Jin Seok started leading a little bit, but the problem was when Black played here, Shin Jin Seok answers like this, and then Byeon Sang Il took the bite. I think this is um, kind of uh, Shin Jin Seok's invitation to play this move, but Byeon Sang Il played exactly here. With this move, Byeon Sang Il could have gone this way or this way. If black plays like this, then the game is still even, very close. Even though white gained something here, the gap is so tiny. But the actual game, Byeon Sang Il played here, and the problem is now we have a cool shape, but white has this cut. It was so good. I think Byeon Sang Il chose this way because he is just intense. He just um, enjoy fighting, but um, there was not the right timing. There was not the right game, you know? Probably he didn't see this move. It was so good. When Shin Jin played this move, uh, Byeon Sang Il spent so much time, uh, it seemed like he didn't see this move. Why this is so nice? This is a move that setting up this code. This is um, kind of making a code thread. If black answers, then white can start this code. Then this is an absolute code thread, then black should answer, then white can come back, then there is no code thread for black. Because looks like this is working, but white can finish this call. 
then white can save the corner even after this move. So I think black should step back, then white can finish this call. Then we can compare this part with this part. Who played um, worse move? Black lost more on this side, right? For white, this is not a big deal. But um, black's two group is divided and um, still we cannot say this is strong. And white gained lots of territory over here. I think Byung Sang il uh, should have chosen this way. If the sequence goes like this, um, white is leading by two or three points, actually the gap is not that much. It is uh, much less than we might think, but um, Byung Sang il couldn't choose this way. He played the way, but he should have answered like this. He played the way, but um, even if black plays here, white doesn't feel any pressure, right? So Shin Jin Seok continued with this move. This is Sente. Black should live inside, and Shin Jin Seok came back. Even at this moment, um, Byung Sang il chose this way. This means that black want to fight this call. So the actual game went like this. Shin Jin Seok started this call, and Byung Sang il didn't answer with this call threat. But it was so huge. Yeah, this is um, how can I say? Yeah, we cannot compare uh, this trade because, as you see, with this panuki, these are almost dead, right? And black just managed to live inside. It's so cramped. And what about this part? White can live inside. Still, white has some life over here. So after this trade, white started leading more than seven points. So I was gonna say with this move for Byun Sang il, he could have chosen this way. This is a co threat. If white answers, then black can come back. Then white will um, save this group. Then black can just connect. Then I think this was also playable for black. This looks much better than the actual game, right? But for some reason, uh, Byung Sang il seemed like uh, he couldn't stop. He couldn't make up his mind. Yeah, so this is the actual game. That's why uh, I said that for Byung Sang il, he must overcome his mentality, his uh, psychological difficulties. Because, um, yeah, we can make a mistake. But the problem is when we made a mistake, um, the most important thing is whether we would be able to come back, right? But it seems like uh, Byung Sang il um, couldn't. So this is the actual game. Byung Sang il finished the call, but these two stones were so big, he needed one more stone, but still white has some um, potential to live. So this is the actual game. Yeah, the gap is so huge. And the problem is, uh, if we look at the board, every white stones are alive, right? For these two stones, white can sacrifice. So except this part, white stones are alive everywhere. So the problem is, um, the gap is more than seven points. Pyeongsang should get some benefit from this kind of area, yeah. How can Byung Sang il get some benefit from Shin Jin Seo uh, in this kind of area? Does it make sense? Black cannot attack this group, black cannot attack this group. Yeah, this is um, not that weak. Actually, this is weaker. At this moment, yeah, Byung Sang il was in uh, tr trouble. This is only 66 move. But um, yeah, it was so early. So this is the actual game. White played Hane. Um, Black couldn't cut on this side because if White plays Hane on this side, locally this is dead. Yeah, this part is not alive. And the problem is White can play like this, then White can save this group easily and White can capture this stone. 
but black cannot think about this cut so this is the actual game but this is sente so white managed to capture this stone easily so now black is just desperate white captured the left side and yeah i think with this move black captured these two stones perfectly but it was not a big deal white played away white is forcing black to leave inside and the sequence went like this yeah this is sente black group is so cramped and this is a finishing blow this means that um what is saying one of these is in danger so after several sequence Bensangil rejoined all right how was today's game this game ended so early because um yeah the problem started from this move with this move uh Bensangil could have chosen this way or this way but this is Bensangil's style but um he didn't see this cut it was so good and even after this Ben Sang could have made up his mindset and he could have played like this but um, he chose this way he started this call but the trade was so nice for white I hope Ben Sang plays well uh, in the next game I'd like to see their intense game okay thank you for watching i see you in the next one bye